Today's December 6, 2021. We're doing a member report for 3723 Gulliver Street. Uh, we're going to document the outside first, show what everything looks like. So we do have a various amount of stains here. Uh, we did do our best to get rid of these stains, but they do exist, and that's the hardcore reality. And outside of hiring a professional stain removing company to come along and spend five, six hundred dollars, we're just not going to be able to get rid of these stains. The garage has not been painted with the rest of the house, so. We are going to see some discolorations here in the garage as well. The water softener and the tenant has been notified what to do with the water softener, how to deal with the irrigation timing system, fun stuff like that. Water heater is a little bit on the older side, just be aware of it. Um, this water heater looks like it was installed in 2013, so it's about eight years. That's okay, but it's going to be time, probably another few more years before it goes out. Taking a look at the exterior grass, it's in great condition. It's on a one day a week watering schedule as demanded by the uh, water department. Everything here looks good. We got rid of all the weird stuff. And grass out here is also in really good condition. As we go on inside, the flooring here, a little beaten up, but it's good. It's in good condition still. Laminate starting to age a little bit, but it's still in good condition. The house was freshly painted and primed. Unfortunately, the tenant is telling me that she still smells smoke, cigarette smoke. And my nose isn't as good as most people, so I can't really smell it, but I understand it is still there. And we take a look at the kitchen here. We did fix the crack. It's so well done. Um, as you can see, there's the first crack and this is the separation. Uh, and that's what happened was there's a lot of pressure being put on here and it just kind of fell over. So we went ahead and got that fixed. Wash and dryer's in good condition. Refrigerator. About the best we could get the stove here. And the bathroom. As we go upstairs, uh, this is the best we could get the carpets here. It looks good. That's the important thing, but you know, the smell is there. So we do have some stains, unfortunately, that we don't really seem to be gotten rid of. I don't know if the problem is the carpets or not, to be honest. I don't know if it's the carpets or if it's in the ducts or where the cigarette smell is coming from. And this is the tile in the bathroom. Brand new, looks nice. Going to bathroom number two. Here we are. As you see, it looks really nice now. Now we just replaced the baseboards that was there to begin with. And master bedroom. And let's take a look at the backyard. Something we didn't do yet. The inspector had nothing to say about the lack of fencing around the backyard, so that's good. This is not the right type of sensor. So we are going to ignore it. Take a look. This is the new grass we put in. It's in great condition. I did bring uh, the attention to the landscaper that there is some overspray. 
tree here is dying a little bit. That's no, not dying, it's just seasonal, no big deal. And it looks like we got some pigeon feathers up here, so we may have a pigeon problem still. It's been kind of perpetual. All the trash has been taken care of. And some weird palm tree. And that's it.